I'm Pauline. And I'm Jayla. And today we're going to be talking to you about classes at Sarah Lawrence and what really makes us stand out. Alright, so the first important point is that we have an open curriculum with no required courses, which means that students can take a wide array of topics. So for instance, I love dance, so I dance five days a week. Um, I also love theater, so I'm involved in the theater community, but I get to take courses in economics, history, and psychology, so a lot of different things. Students will work with their advisors to create a course of study that's very tailored to their interests. But so that students can also get a more like traditional liberal arts education, we also have a few distribution requirements. All of our classes fall under four main areas of study, and those are the humanities, the performing arts, math and natural sciences, and social sciences. And so by the end of your four years here, you have to have taken classes in three out of those four disciplines. So one of the most important parts about classes here at Sarah Lawrence is the seminar conference model. So students take seminar classes that are roughly around 15 students in each class, discussion-based, and they're sitting around a round table. Also in this class, students meet one-on-one -on -one every two weeks with their teacher, and this meeting is called conference. In these conference meetings with your professors, you're going to be talking to them about your conference projects. These are independent study projects that are going to last all semester long, or sometimes all year long if you have a year long conference, with your professor kind of guiding the process, giving you books to read, asking for outlines and drafts and that kind of thing. Usually they end up being about a 15 to 20 page paper, but really it depends on the class and they can be anything. So for example, I took a class called Industrial Competition, Labor Relations and Social Democracy, and for that class my conference project was about a 20 page long paper about Reagan's 1981 tax reforms and the sort of like social, cultural, political impact that they had. So that's how most of your classes are going to work here at Sarah Lawrence. Um, seminar classes, 15 students in a round table discussion, and also having individual conference every other week with your professor. But we also have lecture classes here, which cap around 45 students, so nice intimate size. As you can see, this is an example of one of the lecture halls that we have here at Sarah Lawrence. So the last really important point about classes at Sarah Lawrence is about your first year studies class, or FYS. The FYSs are seminars that are capped at 12 rather than 15, so they're just a little bit smaller. Uh, but the biggest difference is that it's going to be all freshmen. Because we don't have any gen eds at Sarah Lawrence, all of your other classes are going to be a mix of everybody from freshmen to seniors. But this is really a space that is set aside just for freshmen. It's still a really academically rigorous class, like my FYS was really hard. <laughs> but it does also function kind of as a space for you to be able to transition from high school academics to college academics with people who are kind of in the same boat as you, and people who are interested in at least one of the same subjects that you are. Sarah Lawrence offers a first year studies course in every department. So December before you're coming here, you'll be sent a full list of all the classes that we're offering for that year. You'll pick your top four, and then from there you'll get placed into one of those. So just to recap, we talked about five different things today. Open curriculum, seminar conference model, conference projects, lectures, and lastly FYS or first year studies course. All of those things really do combine to make Sarah Lawrence a very unique place to be able to take classes. You know, you're obviously learning from your professors, but of course you're learning from your classmates as well because you're all at a round table together and you're all moving through the material and engaging with it together. You really are given so much autonomy over your education here. You really are in the driver's seat every step of the way. So let us know if you have any questions in the comments, we'll be sure to answer them. Subscribe to the SLC Admissions channel for more college tips. If you missed episode one on advice for campus visits, be sure to check it out. Curious about what classes SLC offers? There's a link to our course catalog in the description. Be sure to tune in in two weeks for episode three. See, See you then! then.